I really am amazed, you know, that you're asking me about them and not even uh, mentioning the 240 hostages uh, among whom there are plenty of babies. Is there discrimination about between uh, babies? Are there babies who are supposed to be protected and such who are supposed to be stuffed underground with no protection and no one speaking about their human rights? I really am amazed that people are demanding a ceasefire, not even mentioning the hostages. Many of them are vulnerable, the most vulnerable people there are. There are many, many things, and God knows I am known to be the opposition to Netanyahu forever, and as well today, by the way. I am calling uh, for the replacement of Netanyahu today, but I am an Israeli leader. I have to protect my people. I have to protect my country, and I am fighting for my country. And right now we have a monster on the other side, and we are seeing an unbelievable phenomenon of people who consider themselves to be progressive, who take the side of those who throw their own people off the roofs, off the top of the roofs, even because they don't align with the regime. We are seeing progressives fighting for people who oppress women and children and the gay community and whoever they see fit to. And we are seeing an overlooking of the fact that 1,400 people were slaughtered in a way that is not even terror. It's, it, it was a monstrous demonstration of what exactly? Is that freedom fighting? What was the aim of this attack? They came equipped for rape, for burning babies alive, for scalping people, for beheading people. This is what we are dealing with right now. The way we saw a coalition against Daesh and no one was claiming that Daesh, that ISIS, needed um, to get um, fuel while the coalition was fighting them. The same should happen for Hamas now. Nobody said give them fuel. There is, Israel never sieged Gaza. Israel went out of Gaza a long, long, long time ago. Israel is not responsible for the choice of Hamas to turn Gaza into one huge terror base. You are a physician. How would you feel? What would you say if there was a terror base built in your hospital or missiles fired from the clinic in which you are trying to save lives? This is what's been happening in Gaza all those Hamas years. We are hearing now from the prisoners that we have, the thing that we have known forever. They, are, they know that Israel will not bomb hospitals and schools, and therefore this is where they are putting their base. This is where they're running their operations from. They are the ones that are turning their own population into the victims of what they are uh, turning into a war. We have called people, civilians, to move from the north of uh, Gaza to where there is no fighting in the South. We are doing every effort to prevent innocent lives from being hurt. The same needs to continue, but Hamas should be eliminated and certainly it's huge terror, monstrous military that it's built among its citizens.